Even if you are the biggest celebrity in the world, Nigerians have a way to humble you. When they are not insulting you, they are calling you out for one thing or another. And if you are unlucky, they could cancel you. These 10 Nigerian celebrities have long been cancelled. Keep watching to know why. Why are you running? Why are you running? Who remembers the insult Baba Sue that stopped downloading at 23%? It was for no other person than Sheyi Law. This man incurred the wrath of some Nigerians when he canvassed support for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Don't get me wrong, it's a free world and we all have the right to vote for our favorite candidates. But then, some Nigerians believed supporting him was not worth it. The former president had already left the country in a pitiable state and Nigerians were hoping for something better. Back to Sheyi Law. Sheyi was so confident about the president, he not only campaigned for him, he replied to trolls. At some point, he was a laughing stock on Twitter, but he didn't mind. Well, some Nigerians have cancelled him. There's no money to even attend comedy shows, how much more one hosted by him. On number two is Toyin Abraham. She's both a social media sensation and a Nollywood diva. She needs no introduction. The trouble started when she nicknamed herself as Siwaju Baby and even made a post suggesting that President Bola Tinubu shared some ideas with her. Fans called her out for supporting the APC despite all that is happening. And now that things have gone from bad to worse, her head is constantly on Twitter's chopping block. Everyone is seeking ways to drag her and get her to explain the president's plan for Nigeria. Saidabod raised the dust during an appearance on the Honest Bunch podcast. The famous TikToker, known for her hot take, dropped a bombshell. She said she starts billing a man one day after she meets him. In fact, he should drop 500k for the start. She also said he must give her at least 20 million to access her honey pot. While prostitution is common in Nigeria, netizens didn't find this funny. They accused her of promoting the vice we all call hookup. Well, she stood on her words and that's on period. Her social media accounts were reported and temporarily taken down for some days. But then, she recovered her account and moved on with her life. Let's not forget how she came all out for Eriga. Winky winky! Yvonne Jegede must have watched Sider's interview with keen interest and decided to tell the same thinking pattern. Well. She was previously married but divorced her husband after a year. She cited many reasons for the divorce, especially the fact that she was the breadwinner of the family. She said her husband was 8 years older than her and constantly exerting his superiority over her. 8 years older than me, but the moment we got married, if I don't say they're crazy, we say they disrespect them, I go say, yeah? Mm. Huh? This was it's the same thing, it's the, it's the same me, it's the same... Sorry, Okbeni. Yvonne regretted ever marrying for love. Had she known, she would have taken some lessons from Regina Daniels and do the needful. Trust Nigerians to come for her. Again, these people argued that she was misleading young ladies. And next is Isim Mili Wan, the only Odogunwoke of social media. You'll Edoche not to say Nigerians, Sha. After his partial breakup with his wife, May, he moved in with Judy to start a new family. Judy too is enjoying her new husband and fame. Despite insults hurled at him daily, Yul is doing his thing. He's also a staunch supporter of the APC. The drag is not to concern him. As long as his new law lord Judy loves him, he's good to go. <laughs> Everyone on social media agrees that Ruby Ojako is doing too much. Why is she crying more than they believed? Yes, Junior Pop is dead and we all miss him, but does she have to rub it in our faces all the time? Ruby Ojako is constantly stressing videographers to follow her around, filming every moment of, of her mourning her dear friend. We hear that Junior Pop's wife unfollowed her on social media. She's probably irritated by the show. All this drama won't bring the young man back, so stop. Nigerians are not happy with her. Lord Lamba went from being a skit maker to trolling his baby mama Queen Atang after she announced her engagement. He seemed to be cool that they were no longer together, but immediately after she announced her engagement, he was all over the place. Nigerians feel this is toxic energy gone too far. If things didn't work out between you two, why not allow her to move on with her life? 
Eventually, he saw that most people were on Queen's side, so he backed off. Zubi Michaels came under fire shortly after Junior Pope's death. We call that Zubi was Pope's best man during his wedding, but then they fell apart after some years. It is unclear what happened, but Zubi did not send his condolences to Pope's family. This got many worried. Actress Angela Okore slammed him for refusing to mourn his friend. Well, he eventually bowed to pressure and did the needful. Zubi Michaels also attended his burial and gave his family words of cash. That too was another wahala. Was he showing off or doing it to fulfill all righteousness? Very dark man has been in and out of prison. This guy has fans, but at the same time, he has gathered some enemies in the last year. Some of these enemies swore not to give him peace. Even though his best is with Davido, the singer does little or nothing to help him out of his many troubles. He was released from detention some days ago. Hopefully, he doesn't go back there. Desmond Elliot has to be the Oga Pata Pata of cancellation. If celebrity cancellation had a face, it would be him. Nobody today Nigerians begin to drag this young man. From his early days as a politician to this very moment, he has stepped on many toes. Whenever he, he's trending on Twitter, best believe it's for the wrong reasons. Anyways, which other Nigerian celebrity deserves to be on this list? Tell us in the comments section.